Hello beautiful Libra. Welcome to my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your spiritual growth reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. We're going to focus on your spiritual growth, healing, guidance, and any other messages that you need to hear at this time. Um, we're also going to do a separate romantic love reading in a separate video, a separate reading. Okay, so we're going to focus on your spirituality and your growth. When I was uh, getting into meditation, getting into your energy, I received a channeled message of, um, they, my guides told me, balance of the forces. And when I went into asking, what does this mean? Because <laughs> I'm always asking, what do you mean when you channel things to me? And I did some more digging and research and also received more information once I just kind of allowed these messages to flow through. Um, they said that these are these forces are creative and they are active, okay? They're not only active within the atmosphere, within the universe, within the natural world, but they are active forces that are working through you, okay? To create, to produce, okay? So these are elemental forces of the natural world. They are cosmic forces of the universe. They are also forces within you, physical, mental, emotional forces, and all of that, all of it is balancing, it's harmonizing, and they all have the capacity to produce and to create through you, okay? You are this beautiful, it's like you are this channel, you are this beautiful vessel that all of this energy, um, not only is it balancing and harmonizing in the natural world, in the cosmic world, in the ethers, in the universe, and our natural world here, but it's also balancing and harmonizing within you, and it's producing and creating new energy, not only through the Earth's atmosphere, through the Earth's energy, and through the cosmic world, through the cosmos, but also producing and creating through you. Okay, so I hope I'm explaining that correctly. I'm hope I hope I'm speaking that clearly. I'm gonna leave this here. These are my channeled notes that I'm gonna keep handy because they sent a lot of information um, that I hope I explained right. Okay, so this is the Wisdom Oracle. This is the Enchanted Maps Oracle, and then we're going to get into the good tarot of what do you need to know? What is happening within you? I feel like there's a lot of changes happening within your physical body as well, um, your mental, your emotional uh, bodies, okay, your spiritual body. I feel like you're, you're really harmonizing with the elemental world, the natural world, and the cosmic world. And I feel like um, there's this need to produce and create new energy, okay? And it's working through you. So let's see what's going on here. What other messages? Thank you, Archangel Michael, ancestors known and unknown, spirit and angels of the most high. No messages. Okay, I just heard seeing things clearly. Okay, removing rose-colored glasses. Okay, for some reason I just saw an owl, but there's no owl here. You have the card All That Glitters, and All That Glitters isn't gold. Okay, so this is seeing beyond things that are glittery, that are shiny. This is seeing beyond, okay, and seeing the truth of things seeing what is really of value to you, seeing what's really um, sacred, what's important here, okay? I feel like this is where a lot of the messages today were about leaving old paradigms and creating new things. And I felt this with you before where you were the bridge, you are the vessel, 
you are a beautiful channel and um, spirit is really using you to harness and cultivate this energy through you and into this world because there's a new energy that's being produced okay and it's active oh and it is it ever active um this is number 16 uh, which is also number seven with seven is also divine creation okay all right so let's um see unmasking see the masks seeing things clearly seeing through the veil seeing the truth all right let's see what else we get here for beautiful libra okay one more shuffle this is the enchanted maps oracle for beautiful libra you have here compass number 50 and look again there's the wishing well underneath that metamorphosis underneath that yeah you're definitely going through a change there's something very interesting happening with time i know you've heard before and there's a lot of people that have also channeled like timelines collapsing things are just um timelines are collapsing here but this is something really interesting with time this is an internal compass okay this is an internal compass that you are using to um to help navigate you through this these changes and shifts okay through your metamorphosis through your transformation um i'm gonna get back to this in just a little bit i'm seeing a lot of fives five 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 this is also number 25 which is again another seven which is creation there's something very active within you very there's this energy that's working through you that is really active that is transforming there are also two um individual the two what are these um flamingos that look like they're mirrored all right um but look at this gold look at all these masks in these cards the wishing well see you're not you're not actually going towards this wishing well this person is actually going away so it's like you're not going to like yes riches are great let's you know let's be real money is great sure but all that glitters is in gold okay um it's not everything okay it sustains us in the society yes we need it yes but there's something more that you're searching for there's something more that you need there's something more that um spirit is guiding you to okay here with the compass there's something more and then here is also um spirit is saying spirit will provide okay spirit will provide okay and again seeing the truth seeing what's important for yourself Um, gold is um, uh, the gold aura has been coming out a lot as well um, and I'm seeing it here prominently with you again and um, gold is royalty royal energy it's abundant it reminds me of the Sun of renewal revitalization regeneration growth So this energy that is working through you, this active energy, these balance of the forces, you're part of that balance. You're, you're part of the restoration of that balance, okay? And spirit is guiding you through this heavy metamorphosis that you're going through. You have here the seven of earth, seven of pentacles, another seven. So you actually have here, um, which, what was it? Um, you have 16, which is seven, 25, which is seven. And you have here seven of earth. So you do have here seven, seven, seven. Cool. 
creation. Creation. Your seeds are planted. You're grounded. It's very important to ground. There is the sun. That royal energy, that revitalization, that regeneration. There is the sun. I love this. You're, look at this at beautiful, look at all of this golden aura that is surrounding you. The golden aura, I have to look it up again, but it's royalty, it's independence, it's strength, success. Okay, I'm definitely seeing an, a gold aura around you guys. And see here, um, I used to always say this quote because I would hear it all the time. Um, when the sun shines on you, you are a fool to turn away and look at you. You're not afraid of the sun's rays. You're going towards the sun. Look at you. You're, you're looking directly at the sun. The sunflowers all turn to the sun and you're turning towards the sun. I honestly, I'm getting goosebumps because they just told me they are the sun. You are this shining light. You are this healing energy. You are this, um, because there's something, this is enough, this is a life force. I mean, we're talking about balancing of the forces. This is the life force. This is what gives life. It's almost like this life force energy from the sun is is ingested into you. You're ingesting this life force energy and it's beaming through you as within so without. This is a change. This is your metamorphosis. This is your change. This is where spirit is guiding and leading you to here with the compass and the metamorphosis. There's more for you. I'm going to put them like this. Okay. I don't know. Oh, you can't really see that. But that's okay. Okay. <laughs> this beautiful energy. Let's get all your cards out. Oh my gosh. The tower. Look, another 16. You have 16, 16. Again, which is 7. Wow. Wow, Libra. Okay, let me get all your cards out. Let me ground my energy. <laughs> let me ground my energy. Eight of Earth. There's that guitar, that harmony, that beautiful sound, that beautiful vibration within the earth that's harmonizing. Another seven, seven of swords, seven of air with the mask, another mask. Oh, you're definitely seeing something clearly. You're unmasking yourself. It's almost like you're unveiling yourself, all of who you are. You're shining like the sun for all to see. Everyone sees the sun. Everyone. Can't deny the sun when the sun shines. Six of Earth. Queen of Swords. King of Swords, there's that balance of divine masculine and feminine energies within the self, okay? I don't feel this to be another person, I feel this is all you, because we're talking about balance here. One more, please. Ace of, Ace of Cups, Ace of Water. You have a moon at the bottom. You have the Page of Fire. 
and you have love underneath that number six. Okay. There's a new energy of love here. There's a new energy of love that is within you. This is another force. This is another life force. And this is, you know, those say um, love is the greatest force. There's so many forces that are working through you. I'm almost feeling overwhelmed. I feel like I'm going to cry. I'm an ugly crier, so I'm just going to ground my energy <laughs> um, I feel like oh no okay I feel like for you um, I feel like at times things get really overwhelming um, and I feel like you, you tend to seclude or remove yourself when the time is right to make sure that you ground your energy, to make sure that you go back to the natural world, to make sure that you are, um, that you take care of yourself first. Because I feel like you know that you have a larger role here, a larger purpose. Um, and you can't help anyone unless you help yourself first, okay? I'm also seeing here, and they're bringing my attention to a sequential number, okay? There's five, six, seven, and eight, okay? And they're all earth. The five of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles, I don't have enough hands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Sequential numbers in a reading for me is always an indication that you are on the right path, okay? And that you are progressing through something, okay? You are making good progress. Okay, you're definitely on the right path. You could be seeing sequential number synchronicities, um, like 1, 2, 3, 1, 12, 34. Okay. Because they're all Earth energies here, 5, 6, 7, 8. I feel like these earthly energies are cultivating in your life. Okay, so you're seeing manifestations, things that you have planted long time ago. You may have had a vision of the way that you saw your life to be and I feel like now it's all kind of coming to the surface and unfolding and here with the eight of earth this is the this is the harmony this is everything branched out I want to say like you're I want to I want to use you as this guitar just for visual just as a visual so imagine yourself this beautiful vessel, this beautiful guitar. And all of these energies and these forces are working through you and branching out of you. And they are producing and they are creating, okay? Creating what? <laughs> New energies new paradigms, new frequencies, a new reality for yourself, new abundance, a new cycle, new energy of love, and ultimately balancing and harmony. I 
I definitely feel like you've been through a lot with this five of earth someone is holding their chest okay as if there's been pain there I'm also feeling that the the heart chakra is definitely widening and expanding here and opening up and creating uh, for balance okay the heart chakra is needing to be balanced here I'm gonna talk about the tower last okay I'm gonna talk about the tower last um, I'm being drawn to this page of fire energy and the page of fire energy is this beautiful angelic spirit guide that is with you. It's almost like enticing you to go on this journey, leading you, navigating you. And this tiger here, this white tiger, this is the high priestess. This is high priestess energy. It's almost like these iridescent colors here in this card are also harmonizing and balancing and creating and producing this new energy. Pages are all about new beginnings, newfound passions, newfound truth, clarity. Excuse me. <laughs> I've been noticing I sneeze a lot when I channel. Anyways, the moon here, divine feminine energy, again about seeing things clearly. You also have the moon in this card. The moon, this divine feminine energy is providing, it's like this energy is descending from the moon, this healing energy, clarity in the darkness, truth. Okay, again, we talked about seeing through the veil. You see here um, with the moon, there is a very thin veil here. Okay, this is also very significant that the veil between the earth earthly world and the spiritual world is very thin but you are also that beautiful vessel okay that i talk about a lot for you guys you are the antenna you are the connection connecting point you are the vessel you are the bridge between the spiritual world and the earthly world you see through the veil very seamlessly very easily okay and spirit communicates to you through the veil and there's energy that is being descended from the moon onto you there's a lot of energy that is descending onto you healing energy from the moon seeing things clearly truth um a new energy of love self-love new emotions i do talk about um, emotional intelligence there's this new sense of intelligent emotions that are reprogramming themselves within us okay the seven of swords again with this mask you're I talked about this I think about you just unveiling yourself you're showcasing yourself what did I say? You can't deny the sun when it shines. No one can deny the sun when the sun shines. No one. And your entire spirit team is here around you, guiding you to take off the mask. I do sense a little bit of fear here, okay, with the Seven of Swords. And that's normal. Everyone fears, right? But fears are illusions, okay? Especially here with the moon. These fears that you have, they're just illusions. And with the moon and the sun, oh, the moon and the sun. More divine masculine and feminine energy. And with the moon and the sun, they're providing that light, okay? The moonlight, the sunlight. And they're all, sh these forces 
are all working through you and they're cultivating in this earthly world with the elemental forces to produce and to create new energy. And this energy is working through you. You're helping to bridge and bring in this new energy for everyone, for people, for yourself, right? So this is, this is divine masculine and feminine energy. And we have here the king and the queen of swords. And I said that this is not another person. This is you. This is you balancing and harmonizing the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy within your, within yourself. Okay. These are the energies that are also coming into balance. I'm also feeling that there's this, um, retraction happening. There's energy that is being retracted okay being taken away and then there's energy being put back in and it's the old paradigms that are leaving okay so there's old feminine energy that is being retracted and then the divine fe divine feminine energy is being implanted okay I don't know why I use that specific word implanted as if something is being <laughs> implanted for implantation, for seeding, for growth. Okay. Um, and here you have the sun, that masculine energy. So old masculine energy is being retracted and new divine masculine energy is being brought in. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Like all of this is being showered on you. All of this is being showered on you. This is, this is, a, this is a really big time where a lot of people are understanding what they need to do or what they have to do or who they are, what they're capable of. Um, a lot of a lot of old paradigms are just no more and a lot of things are being rewritten and there's a new there's not only a, a spiritual paradigm but there's an, an earthly paradigm and for you specifically there's these magnificent forces that are balancing and they're balancing through you and you're creating a lot of change in your life using this energy and new abundance and you're harmonizing with this energy and you're going to help a lot of people with this as well. Um, you're gonna find that, you're gonna find your life purpose through this and who you are, who you're meant to be. Again, you're on the right path, five, six, seven, eight, with all of the earth energy here. Now with this tower, this is that new energy that's being created. The tower is number 16, which we mentioned. We have here 16, 16, again, 7, 7, 7 on the board. Actually, you have 7 of earth, 7 of air, and you have 16, 16, 7, 7. So 7, 7, 7, 7. <laughs> but as you can see, this tower is not burnt and falling down. It's not on fire. It's rebuilt back up. So all of this energy, this active energy that is balancing the balance of the forces, the energy that is flowing through you is producing and creating a new energy, a new world, a new paradigm shift. It's being rebuilt, okay? Your life is being rebuilt. You're going to see this in your life, whatever it is that you want, okay? It's being, it's almost like it's being recreated, recreated here. Okay, this is what I have for you. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope it resonated with you. I'm going to go ahead and do your romantic love reading. Thank you so much for watching.